show you this. Oh, my break. I was going to show you my um, ketone reading in the evening. It just read 2.6. Um, it is Friday, the day before race. And obviously, you know I am. If you've been keeping up, I've been trying to be in ketosis. And I wanted to share that journey with you. But I wanted to show you one of my meals the day before my race. I've already had um, a boiled egg. Um, there's something else I had, but I've been tracking. This is day number 12 of tracking all my food, pretty much. Staying within that uh, carb limit of under 20 grams, net carbs. But I've got some food here. Oh, well, let me see. I am videoing from my phone and from my this. Uh, I'm going to have to put this down. I can't do both. So... Oh, isn't that crazy? It just stopped working out. I figured I'd double up on this. So, what's the agenda? I want to share with you my um, progress on weight loss, my ketones, and my um, food and everything. I've been eating basically the same thing almost every day, except for in the evening. I start off with my uh, bulletproof coffee, usually after a fasted workout. And then I have, um, I have protein powder in there. I put that Quest protein powder. If you've watched my a video before, then you would know that's um, something that goes into that there. And I have pecans um, about, see, I intermittent fast till about lunch, close to lunch. Sometimes 10, 11 might be the earliest I'll have coffee, my coffee. And then about, it uh, ties me over to about 3 o'clock where I have an ounce of pecans. So, and everything. And then dinner can vary a little bit. Usually it's one of those ready pack cereal salads from Walmart. I do that a couple times a week. And then other times I'll come home, I'll just have some scrambled eggs and bacon with maybe with some uh, bell peppers or whatever vegetables we have and throw that together that's usually my meals right now this is my before the race meal tomorrow morning is the race and let me tell you about my training my training has been pretty rough it's been um I just can't get under 35 minutes, 40 seconds for this hilly 5K. Um, by that hill, I mean, my legs are noodles. Maybe it's because I've been watching some videos about keto and adaptation and fat ad being fat adapted that can take some time. And if you go ahead and start training to try to hit a PR or do really well in a race or lifting while you're trying to adapt then you might you'll get you you won't be able to they say they say take a breather don't expect great results you know so we'll see how tomorrow pans out so but yes i've got this is squash some um cucumbers uh two sliders a boiled egg um pumpkin I figured I needed to up my carbs just a wee bit and with some good carbs. And I saw pumpkin has less carbs than uh, sweet potato. So I've got pumpkin here, 120 grams. I have an ounce of pecans on it. I put some cinnamon and ginger and stevia. I'm going to eat that. I've got me a zevia. Oh, excuse me. I'm not answering the phone right now. I got me a zevia here. As a little treat and something to enjoy my meal with so this is what I'm eating and I wanted to show you something else I got and it's low in net carbs so let me bring you with me over here find mine I've been tracking I was going to show you but I don't have Wi-Fi so my iPad here can't get on my fitness pal right now so here is uh, my other snack it's a called a co-commune bar it's 
three net carbs for the whole thing. The total carbs is 24. But it says on there three net carbs right there. Um, it's got a lot of fiber. Um, it's kind of keto friendly. 12 grams of fat. So I'm just snacking on it because it does have the malt tall. I wanted to also share with you because I, mm, I wanted to wait. Oh my goodness. Don't you love it when stuff falls down your shirt? But I wanted to share with you some of the struggles of the um, ketosis and some of the things that's been going on in my body with all of this stuff. Let me get my book here because I have some details I wanted to share with you. So, sometimes changing your diet, you could have some dietary um, struggles from just changing your diet and we have to um, just try to do our best at not um, and just take care of maybe it's just electrolytes I needed or something I know yesterday I was in like pain and then the day before my ketones were so high my ketones have been so far every morning when I wake up it's Friday now. Since Monday, I've been over two point, over two, over two millimoles per liter in my blood ketones. So that's how I start my morning off. And then in the afternoon, sometimes they go, they spike. Like right now, they're two point six. I better write that down. I like to track that. So I've, I've lost some, some, I lost more weight. I'm down to 141.4. Um, last Friday I was 142.5. So I've been doing, I think I've been doing pretty good. It's just sun, and I've been tracking how many days I've been eating good. So this will be day number 12 of eating keto style, okay? And tracking the macros. Yeah, that one day my ketones got up to 5.8, and it kind of scared me a little bit because I, I read that your ketones should be um, to a good, healthy weight loss ketosis is like one to three or something like that. And when it got to 3.5, I was like, this isn't good. And that was after a bulletproof coffee, four strawberries, and I was exhausted. And I'm thinking, this is not good. I don't feel great. You know, and then yesterday I had some pain on Thursday in my uh, left upper abs. Um, and it just didn't feel like just the stomach. I'm not sure. But like I said, my afternoon snack is usually just pecans and all of that. So, but yeah, I've been, I've been doing all right. I haven't got my bib, race bib for tomorrow, but I'm going in. Doing it keto, see if it how it works. I've seen some videos on people ultra marathoners uh, training and doing it fat adapted. I enjoy uh, a little treat of the um, that root beer. So, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. So in the morning and tomorrow, I'm on a video. I'm going to have like a little carb refeed. I've been thinking about all the foods I would like to have that I, are the food that was always my weakness. I haven't been really craving anything per se, but I've been just um, thinking, you know, it might help a carb refeed. It's been 12 days, a little carb refeed, especially after a 5K. You know, and I've read where sometimes that's probably your ideal time is after a lot of strenuous exercise or something, have something for the glycogen in your muscles. So I'm gonna experiment, see if it knocks me out of ketosis. Cause like I said, my ketones have been reading up there pretty high. So yesterday afternoon, my ketones was 3.3. .3, so been kinda staying pretty high. So, okay. So I think that's gonna wrap up this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and everything. I'm going to have to get some more pink salt in because um, the 
you've got to have enough electrolytes and I think that's part of my problem and maybe you too if you're trying to do ketosis and be into fitness as well you're going to have to have more salt and potassium and avocados have a lot of potassium so you got to make sure you get everything all the nutrients I don't eat a ton of salt honestly I'm gonna it, it takes a lot of, for me to have salt it's just it's a lot so all right that wraps it up and I'll see you in the next video with uh, my carb refeed day and race day um, Hope you'll watch it, like and subscribe if you uh, want to keep this journey with me. And I hope everybody has a great rest of the weekend. Bye.